Hello, all my model car building buddies. This here is model cars right there with Glenn right there. And I'm Glenn, and I have questionable logic. So, what is first up? Let's look at, uh, let's look at my brother's picture. That's something to do. That's pretty. Now, that is, that's a pretty picture right there. I like that. And he's still doing the, the off other world stuff from other planets. This is what it looks like on another planet. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. All right. Well, let me see if the flashlight helps. Mm, maybe a little bit. Okay. Well, that's the, that's that. Now, let me move my cards around because I'm trying to stay organized. Not very well. Uh, let me show you a couple of things I got going here. Uh... Okay, I got this from my buddies at Spotlight Hobbies, and I'm still working on it. You remember this. I know you do. It's the Dadgum 55. It's supposed to be the bad man, but I, I didn't like the decal stripes on it, so I had to strip it because I put them on and didn't like it. But I got it painted red, white, and blue, and I really like it better like this. I really do. This looks, this, to me, this looks a lot better. And Big Daddy Ed Roth, he says it looks cool, too. He's right there saying, hey, dude, this looks, stop, look at it, it's cool. See, that's him. All right, well, I'm working on it. I'm just trying to get paint on it, trying to get my air compressor working and my airbrush working, and nothing seems to be working except this. See, this pile of parts here is going to be this little guy. I said my little Renault a -bar, or Fiat Abarth. Ain't he cute? He's just the cutest little thing. And I got big black Chevy to go in him. Cool. I got these big old slicks to go on the back of him. And I'm working on the front axle here. These are those uh, 10 spoke, 12 spoke wheels. The tires are, tires are right here. I got them off because I want to paint this whole thing silver at once. And that's the front end. Here's the rear end I come up for it. I'm just grabbing parts from everywhere, you know. Uh, parts box out of other kits just to just to make this. This is a frame I decided to use. This come in an old parts pack. So, yeah, well, that's this. But he ain't even mocked up yet. I just got the front end. I got all the front end parts found and assembled, more or less, and the rear end parts found and assembled. And Grammy, like I said, Grammy's not here today. It's taken her forever at the Social Security office. I would have thought she'd at least been back the same day, but no, she's still gone. And this is what she's working on. I'm going to go ahead and show you what she started. I got this Tiki Hut. It was uh, Ed Roth Surf Fight comes with Tiki Hut, and it's got a roof. Let me see. Shut up, pups. Behave. See, there's the roof. Okay, and we got, where the heck is he? Uh, well, we got Stroke. oh, here he is. We got the top half of Stroker McGurk. And it's going to go in, inside with his head sticking out. And we got this hair for him. So he looks like a crazy surfer with the blonde string, with the blonde hair everywhere. Will you guys behave? I'm trying to do something here. And got his arms. What she's going to do is she's going to rob my parts box of monster car parts. And she's going to build this like a fink or a weirdo or, you know. And this is going to be her tiki tea what she called it i got all kinds of she has got all kinds of parts to go on it's a big wheels uh i don't know if y'all remember the outhouse tea well this is her rendition of it but it's a tiki tea made out of this tiki hut you'll see she'll get it done here pretty soon or at least maybe you know give you some updates on it all right now back to business uh oh i got this in a trade from my good friend don over at Don's Garage. You y'all know Don. Everybody knows Don. Don's cool. If you don't know Don, you're crazy. 
Uh, might as well, as a matter of fact, while I'm talking about him, go on over to his channel and give him a sub because he needs a sub. And, uh, he can use all he can get. Everybody can, not just him. But, yeah, you know, go check him out. He's got a good channel and he's a real good dude. Anyway, I swapped him out of this. Surfshark. A little disappointed in it. It's uh, totally curbside. You know, there's nothing okay. underneath. There's, it's got the chassis with everything molded in. But what I have planned for it, it doesn't need any of that stuff. You remember I got uh, I got Herman's Munster's Munster Mobile. I got Eddie Munster's Woody. I got... Uh, <laughs> shut up. Will you guys behave... I got uh, Marilyn Munster's Little Tea Bucket, that white one with the green fade around the edge. And uh, Grandpa, he's got the Dragula. But Lily Munster doesn't have anything. So I'm going to make this into a hearse. I'm going to paint it black, but I think I'll put some red pearl over it to kind of give it a black cherry deal going on. Hey, knock it off. And make it into a hearse. And this is going to be Lily's grocery getter. You know? I'm fixing up to a little fine looking ride. And that Lily can use. You know? Because I figure if she's going to drive anything, it would be a hearse. So this is going to be Lily Munsters. You watch for it. It's going to be cool. Yep. Let me set it over here out the way. Lily needs her own car. Everybody else got their own car. All right. Now... My other buddy, Mike, at Mike's Model Shop, has got the Mad Gasser group build going on. And I decided I'm, I'm in it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one. This here is a 66 Pontiac GTO that I got to make a gasser out of. I'm going to put the straight axle under the front and jack it way up high in the back with all the good stuff like ladder bars and moon tanks and drag chutes and big engine sticking through the hood. You know me. You know what I do. This is going to be the next thing that I do. It's a group build, so and it's open-ended, so I don't have to be in no big hurry to finish it. But you'll be seeing progress reports on it. Anyway, this, this is a heavy box, too. This has got a lot of parts in here. I wonder what's the parts count. 114 parts. That's a lot. That's pretty good. Okay. 66 Pontiac GTO Gasser. Yeah. What is it called? Mad Gasser's Group Build by Mike's Model Shop. I think that's all of it. There might be some more words to go with that. That's the ones I got. Okay. Next. I ain't got a lot to do on this episode, so this is probably going to come up a little short. I got a couple of stash ads I want to show. I got the 58 Ford Thunderbird convertible bubble top, two-in-one custom. I just like this so much, I'm just going to build it pretty much straight from the box like this. Different colors. I really don't care for this purple on here. I don't know what color I'll paint it, but it'll be something. And with the bubble top. I like bubble tops. Glenn likes bubble tops. Everybody knows that probably by now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's going to make a great kit. It's 124th, but I decided I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit uh, hating 124th scale and just accept it and make a separate cabinet. And all my models that are 124th scale can live in that cabinet all by themselves. What do we got next? We got something next? Yeah. Got an MGB. And it's got a bunch of numbers that come after it, like G slash HN 5074. It's a 74. Donnie used to have one of these. My brother Donnie, you know him with the pictures. He used to have one like this. And I'm not building it like his. I'm building his Camaro. That's good enough for him. This one is going to be, uh, let me see, uh, Gasser maybe? Probably. Something really wild. It's going to be a wild thing. This is going to go along with my MG. I mean, my, uh, uh, what the heck is that? That yellow one I got. Austin Healy. Is it going to go along with my Austin Healy gasser and my little Fiat Abarth gasser and then this, uh, this cool MGB gasser? That's pretty slick. Oh, man, that was a fun car to drive. I really miss that. I wish we still had it. 
All righty. Well, oh, I got those from Spotlight, too. Out of the old unbuilt kit sections, the actually all of them, the GTO, the Thunderbird, and the MGB. Well, short episode. I know I always say this is going to be a short episode, but this one is coming up short. Yep, I don't have a whole lot to show. I've been doing stuff out in the yard and out in my shop, stuff that has been neglected. I even had to put a new uh, filler in my toilet tank, if you can believe that, and mopping of the floors and stuff like that, stuff you can't get away from. But, yeah, made a cool trade with my buddy Don from uh, Don's Garage. I got that. I got that uh, surf fight with Tiki Hut. That's really good. And uh, Chevy Nova Wagon. Uh, what else? Oh, that that uh, surf shark for, for the love of corn. You know? I got that. One other that I can't think of right now. Because I, I didn't get... Oh, it's a 41 uh, Ford Woody. Yeah, that's a really great kit. I'm looking forward to building that. I can get it down and show you, but it's it, it's in the stash and it's hard to get in and out of it. I should have had it out already so I could show it. But Don is a great guy. I just did this trade with him. I don't usually do trading, but I like Don. Uh, Y'all go check out his channel. Give him a like and a subscribe and stuff. Why not? It won't hurt you. Unless you're lazy, then it might, then it might hurt you if you're too lazy to do it. But I can't see anybody that lazy. So, okay, go visit my buddy Don, uh, give me a like, and a subscribe, and a comment. I'm still working on the comments from the last video. I'm sorry, guys. They're coming. They're just coming slow. I'll get you. And uh, thank you to all my subscribers, and thank you to all my watchers who don't subscribe. Thank you to everybody in the world. And... Let me see. Oh, I love all my subscribers and all my people and everybody that comments. Y'all just good people. I like being, doing this because I'm working with good people here. All right, I'm going to shut up before it gets mushy and everything. And I will see y'all later. Bye.